For our project, we went to the 99 Ranch Market to get a better understanding of what it was like to shop at an Asian market. The first thing that caught my attention was the display selling glasses outside the shops. The market itself reminded me of a strip mall because it had a lot of mini stores off to the side. The first noticeable difference was the live seafood produce displayed in the store. Next to it was a butcher station where you can get your food cut to your personal standards. Instead of filleted fish, they had whole fish for you to choose. The snacks were similar, but they had more seafood flavored items. They had a lot of dry fruit selections, but they also had a fruit flavored meat. Lines were really compact and crowded, and they were really hard to get through. In order to get a better understanding of the foods used in Asian cultures, we decided to try three foods that we are not familiar with. The three foods we tried were dried anchovies, quail eggs, and duck tongue. In many Asian cultures, dried anchovies are considered a snack. Quail eggs are a delicacy as well as duck tongue. Okay, we should probably tell them what this is. What is this? It's a quail it's egg. It's a quail egg? In water. In some sort of juice? <laughs> okay. So it's an egg. <laughs> How does it compare to like a normal egg? It's not good. Not normal. <laughs> it doesn't. It's just like harder? No. <laughs> no. Like the the how to eat it. You're so like comfortable. Like, okay. I'm wondering if you have to like cook this. I'm gonna look this up really quick. No, she said you don't have to cook it. Oh really? Just, oh good just just, just this is the smallest bite in the world. <laughs> you have to take a real uh, baby one. steps. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, I think this is like. I'm honestly. Oh, okay, got just it. go. Ahead. Just do it. One, two, three. If I like. Go. You go. have your. <laughs> you can spit it out on the lid. Okay. These chips are good. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, like, swallow. Make a little sandwich. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like close my eyes. Ooh, that's a big bite. <laughs> oh, something was crunchy. <laughs> There's something crunchy. Your eye twitch though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because like I know what I'm eating yeah. that makes it worse. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Is it mushroom like? It's weird. I don't know how to. It's gross. It. Just apologize later today. I'm sorry. Just eat it. Okay. Just eat it. Are you recording? One, yeah, I'll get ready one. two, three. Why <laughs> 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 you chew it so fast? Oh my God. Determined. Like, I'm not determined. I'm not determined. I'm not determined. Oh, I just crunched something. That yeah, was his head. Probably. Ugh. Yo, no. Sorry, life. You have to eat it. I took a bite. You can put it back. <laughs> With this experience, we learned that an Asian culture store tends to cater more towards its customers. It included many side shops that would help the customers save time. The employees were kind and patient with everyone. The aisles were clearly marked and closer to the floor, making it easier to read. The customers were also very mindful of each other. With compact checkout lines, they still left room for others to pass through. The food arrangements were different in that no other culture's food was clearly labeled an aisle. It was included with everything else. 
Overall, we took that a culture can be completely different and unexpected from what we know of it. 